What is up YouTube? Tina here from Vegans. Um, if you're here, you're probably wondering what kind of things to look out for when going vegan, especially when you are working out. So I'm here to clear up some confusion for you. Um, I own a company that deals with vegan athletes, vegan fitness, and um, today we're gonna go over some stuff that you definitely need to keep your eye on, some things to consider when going vegan. Um, so let's jump right into it. Okay, sorry, my face is burned. I was out in the sun and I didn't wear sunscreen. Really bad stuff. Make sure you're wearing your sunscreen, kids. First off, we're gonna start with the most common, common question I always, always get from everyone who hears that I am vegan. Not even that I am a vegan athlete that I work out. Just because I'm vegan, they ask me this question. Ready? I feel like you guys already know. Where do you get your protein? <laughs> Let me tell you. I get my protein from plants. Uh, plants have a lot of protein. It depends what plants you're eating, but plants have a lot of protein. Um, a lot of people don't think that they have a lot of protein just because they're always eating animals, chicken breasts. Look, let me break it down for you. The reason that a chicken breast has more protein than like a cup of beans or half a cup of beans is because you're eating a living thing. Just like a chicken, you are a living thing. If I eat you, I'm gonna be eating a lot of protein because your muscles are all protein. They're made from protein. Same thing happens when you're eating a chicken or a cow. You're eating the animals, muscles, the, the meat. That's why it's protein is because it's an animal. You're made of protein as well. Um, so something to keep in mind, I mean, that's why it's such a high source of protein is because it's an animal. They're made from it. You are made from it. So plants have a lot of protein. Things like legumes like beans, lentils, chickpeas, a lot of protein. Um, quinoa is a grain, a pseudo grain that has um, protein. Things like rice have protein. Um, of course, protein is not the main component of those foods. I mean, when you're eating a chicken breast, it's literally like 20, 30 grams of protein very minimal like fat and carbs i think zero fat and carbs with plants that's not the case i mean yeah you're eating you know a cup of beans which has protein but also has carbs and has a lot of carbs has a lot of calories um and people think this is a bad thing you know they think oh my goodness you're eating so many calories you're eating so many carbs you're gonna get you're gonna gain fat you're gonna be fat because you're eating all these carbs and i'm just like no that is just not true. You're not gonna gain fat just because you decide to eat carbs. The only way you gain fat is by eating more calories than you burn. If you're eating, if you're burning 2000 calories from your exercise, from your bodily functions, everything in one day and you are eating 2400 calories, you're gonna gain fat. If you're burning 2000 calories and you're eating 2000 calories, you're not gonna gain fat. You're not even gonna gain any weight. Um, you're gonna maintain your weight at that. So. First question, really popular question, where do you get your protein? The answer is plants. And also, personally, I don't eat tofu, seitan, tempeh, none of that stuff. It's just not appetizing to me. It just, nothing appeals to me whatsoever. So personally, I just don't eat it. Um, I've tried like, like a fake chicken burger or something. Fake meat or mock meat is usually made from like wheat protein or like soy protein and it's kind of like hardish. Um, they try to mimic the texture of, you know, meat of chicken. But yeah, I had it one time. I had like a fake chicken burger and it was just disgusting. That's when I was like, I gotta stick to the natural, natural way to eat vegan. Um, Cause I, I don't like the fake stuff. So I get my protein from plants, excluding like tofu and things like that. Um, but then I also get my protein from protein powders, obviously, protein supplements, um, protein pancakes, and protein bars. Those are all great. Sometimes protein cereal, too. It helps add up the total for the day. Um, so that's what I eat personally because I don't eat tofu and stuff. I gotta make up for that protein elsewhere. Only because I am athletic. 
if I was not an athlete, if I was not into fitness, I didn't work out, I wouldn't even need to have all of those protein uh, drinks, protein supplements, protein bars, and things like that. I wouldn't need that because I'm not working out, I don't need it. The beans, the lentils, the quinoa, all that stuff would be sufficient enough, you know? Um, but because I do have to hit my protein goal for the day, my protein intake for the day, I do need those things. So that's how I personally eat. You can, you can definitely, definitely, definitely get all of your protein needs from a vegan diet. When I first went vegan, I was shocked how easy it was to get protein. Everyone always says, you know, you're not going to get protein. Protein deficient. And guess who says that? The non-vegans. It is so easy to get protein on a vegan diet. It's insane. It's insane. So that's number one. Where do you get your protein? Number two, if you're trying to get into the vegan lifestyle, if you want to eat only plant-based, you know, you're just attracted to the diet portion, that's fine. Um, just ease into it. Don't go cold turkey where you cut everything out and then you're like, you didn't prepare and now you're starving the next day because all you're eating is like lettuce, literally rabbit food. Don't do that, okay? Ease into it. You don't have to say, oh, I'm vegan, and the next day you're 100% vegan. You don't need to do that. You can just work towards being a vegan. You know, the first couple weeks, cut out cheese and yogurt. You know what I mean? If you love cheese, cut that out at the very, very end. So the first couple weeks, just cut out like milk and yogurt. Do that for like three weeks. You can cut out red meat for like two weeks. After that, you can cut out chicken and fish for two weeks. So now all you're left eating is eggs, maybe turkey, um, and cheese, right? And you can slowly cut those things off with the next weeks that follow. So just ease into it. It has a higher success rate than going cold turkey. If you go cold turkey, you're more likely to just come back to eating meat. And like, oh, it didn't work for me. Oh, you know. I was starving on the vegan diet. That's what you hear people say who failed. Just chill out, okay? No need to rush. All right, so the third thing is you need to be clear on your values. You need to know why you want to be vegan. You can't just do it because, like, your neighbor dared you or something, you know? Like, what are your values? Some people want to end animal suffering. They don't believe in animals being killed for our food, for our clothes, for our makeup, for shoes. Um, so that's why they're vegan. Some people want to help the environment and they don't want to contribute to harming the planet. So that's why they're vegan. Other people really want to be healthy. You know, they want to eat more vegetables, whatever the reason is for their health, they want to be vegan. So know your values because you are going to get tested when you are vegan. You're going to get tested. You're going to be around like family gatherings. Everyone's going to be eating meat. You're going to go to Thanksgiving dinner. You know, grandma cooked some turkey with some stuffing and you're like, oh, I so want that. You're going to be tested. So you need to know your values so that you go back to those values and you're like, no, this is why I'm vegan. This is why I started and this is why I want to continue. You got to be really clear about those values because if those values are not clear, you'll, you'll just go back to eating meat. You need to be really solidly clear on why you want this for yourself. All right, so the next thing is supplements. The next like really common thing that you hear is like, vegans don't get B12, you know? And this is true because the B12 that meat eaters claim to get is from the animals that they're eating because the animals are eating, you know, stuff from the soil. The B12 is actually coming from the soil. So I personally supplement with B12. I use a liquid, a liquid form so it hits my bloodstream faster. There are other things like calcium and iron, omega-3s. Um, those things you can get from your diet. You can really be smart and strategic about the way you're eating where you don't need to supplement with those things. Um, B12 is the only exception because as a vegan, it's, it's very hard to come by. You can use things like nutritional yeast that have B12 in it if you like it. Um, it's supposed to mimic like a cheesy flavor uh, for vegans. I don't think it tastes like cheese at all, but some people like to like put it on stuff for that like cheesiness. So you can experiment with that. But yeah, B12 is really important for energy. It's really important for vegans. All right, the next thing is to find some vegan friends. Find a community that you can talk to about this. 
people who understand you. If every single person around you and your family and your friend group is not a vegan and you constantly need to like change the restaurant because there's no vegan options, people are going to get annoyed. They're going to be like, "Ugh, you know, you know, like oh, we're doing whatever Tina wants to do because she's vegan, you know. If you have friends who are vegan, they're going to be excited to try new vegan restaurants with you. They're going to be excited to start meal prepping with you. You can talk about where you get your protein sources. You could talk about how you like to prepare your, your tofu. You know, maybe someone doesn't like tofu, maybe someone does, and then they give recipes, they exchange recipes. You want to really build, you know, that camaraderie, that relationship with someone who understands you. Uh, because it's so hard to be a vegan and be surrounded by no vegans. You're more likely to quit. You're more likely to think about quitting. Um, of course, everyone's different. I'm not saying you're going to quit if there's no vegans around you. You just have to have stronger willpower. Because whenever you go places, you know, there's always going to be meat. And no one's really going to fully understand you. So join a vegan Facebook group. Those are huge. I actually have one too, which I will link down below that you can join. I talk about all things fitness, all things vegan. I answer your questions. Um, join a Facebook group. Find a community. Um, just find some vegan friends. Some, something that you guys have in common, you know, that you can talk about, you can share with each other. It'll really, really help. All right, and the next thing, we kind of talked about this, but proper nutrition. Uh, you really do need to understand how to eat and why you're going to eat what you eat. Um, what I did when I first went vegan is I did my research. But, um, you know, I was including all these different food groups. I was doing like black beans, I was doing quinoa, I was doing rice, vegetables, ton of vegetables, some fruits here and there. And I just really wanted to know if I was getting all the nutrients that I needed as a vegan because you always hear like vegans are starving, vegans are deprived and all this stuff. So I went to a naturopathic medicine doctor and I got all of the vitamins, minerals, all the nutrients in my body tested to see if I was efficient in anything. So, I mean, he tested everything. He tested like magnesium, calcium, iron, zinc, you know, everything. Every thing that you can think of that's in food, every nutrient he tested. Um, and I was pretty happy that I was actually like in the range of most things. The only thing that like I was personally deficient in was uh, omegas and vitamin D, but everything else, totally fine. So that was good news for me because I knew that I had done my research. I, I knew how to eat as a vegan, which is very, very important. You want to make sure that you're not getting malnourished in any kind of food group and any kind of nutrients. You really want your nutrients. You, your body needs it to function properly. All right. And the last thing is a proper training program. This is specifically more if you want to be vegan and work out. The combination of being vegan and being athletic is insane. The strength gains, the speed, the power is insane. And I did not know this when I was not a vegan. I literally did not know this. I was always scared to go vegan because I was like, I'm going to lose my muscle. I'm going to be weak. I'm going to lose all this work that I worked so hard for. I was so scared, but when I went vegan, I could not believe how much stronger I was. I was shocked. I was shocked. I was lifting more weight. I wasn't even tired. I was recovering faster. I couldn't believe it. And I started doing all this research about vegan athletes. Um, anyway, going off on a tangent. Um, the combination of a vegan diet and a workout routine is insane. I've had amazing experiences with it, but not only me, a lot of other vegan athletes have had amazing experiences with combining those two things. You can see great progress being a vegan. You can see great progress being an athlete and following a really good program. But you can see the best progress following a program designed for vegan athletes. I mean, the gains will be ridiculous. Ridiculous. You'll be in the best shape of your life. So those are some things to consider uh, when going vegan. If you have any more questions, if you have any more concerns, drop them down in the comments below. Ask them in the comments below. I'll make another video. I'll address all of your questions. But yeah, this is the stuff that I live for. So don't be afraid to ask me a question. I would love, love to find an answer for you. But yeah, that's it for now, YouTube. 
Um, if you are looking to get in shape, if you are a vegan, you're thinking about going vegan, contact me, comment here, or follow my social media channels, which I'm going to link below. Send me a message, send me a DM. Let's get chatting. Let's see if I can help you with whatever goals you have. Um, but yeah, other than that, have a great rest of your day. Until next time, bye.